after it released. Alright, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and thumbs this video up, even though I haven't done anything yet. And make sure you hit that subscribe button right down below so you don't miss out on any of my other videos. Um, if you see the same makeup and outfit multiple times, it's because it's the same day. Um, I'm recording a lot of videos today because I'm off, so why not? Um, this makeup look will be down below in the description as well. And as you can see by the title, I am going to be reacting to another Joyner's Lucas. Joyner Lucas song it's called i'm sorry and it has like a phone number next to it um so i'm kind of thinking this might be about suicide prevention just because i know that most times that uh artists or anybody puts a phone number in the title or in their song it is normally about like depression anxiety suicide um prevention and things like that so we'll see about it like i said previously i this is a prime request. My girl requested this video. Uh, she wanted me to react to some more Jordan Lucas. And I am nervous about watching it. I just did um, the reaction for the Ross Capicciani story. Uh, so, yeah, that had me kind of messed up. I'm still kind of like uh, off of it. So I'm just going to get this video out the way. Um, like I said, these types of things kind of really mess with my mood. Because I am very empathetic. So, um, yeah, let's get this. Let's just get right into it. No more talking. Um, sorry in advance. There will be some pauses in between the video just for copyright reasons. So, yeah, sorry in advance for that. But I want to be able to talk to you guys so we can go ahead and have this conversation. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and get right into it. Let's go. Go ahead and call me a coward, say that I'm not strong because I'm not like you. Go ahead and call me crazy because oh I live in a maze. Tell me how about you? We're starting off already. I, think I live in my head. Sometimes I think that I'm dead. I have behind my youth. No, I've been losing my mind and I'm a little behind. Step aside my shoes because I never been happy with myself. And I don't need no one feeling bad for me. Trying to offer me pity and throw jabs at me. Want to give me advice and then laugh at me behind closed doors. Just close the door and let me be by myself. Just me and myself. I'm tired of living, I cry, I hear it's easy to die, I want to see for myself. And I know that sounds crazy to everyone else, but I'm depressed as fuck, stressed as fuck. Ain't no medicine that can cure us, the tests, the drugs I need. I need extra love, and that ain't even enough. So that ain't even enough, and where the fuck is God? God. Yeah. Maybe I ain't believing enough, but today we gonna see if he's real. And if he is, then I guess I'm probably going to hell. Look, I ain't wanna die like this. I ain't picture my life like this. They don't know what it's like like this. Pretending I'm happy so I can smile like this and laugh like you. Sometimes I wonder if I ever act like you. Could I finally fit in and maybe relax like, ooh? Or would you feel lost without me? Because honestly, I think the world is better off without me and my mind spinning. This is the line finish. Truth is, I don't care how they feel about my feelings. I made up my mind. I'm going out like Robin Williams. I guess I'm not the ordinary people of John Legend, and I've been suicidal since the day I was nine. Shit. Mm. Okay, the day I was nine. I've been tired of being bullied, cause stay out the fire. Grandma told me I should take it one day at a time, and damn it, look at me now. Fuck. Fuck. Pen running out. Shit. <sighs> look, it's known it's a new day, but if you're reading this, then it's probably too late. <laughs> Just make sure you tell my family it's okay. I'm sorry, but it's too late. I'm sorry, so much pain. You know me, I don't wanna live to see another day. I'm sorry, but I can't stay. I'm sorry, so much pain. You know me, just make sure. And that really shows like uh, people attempt suicide more than one time. I, I heard, I think the statistically a lot of times the first attempt 
uh, doesn't work, so it, he's really taking that into account in this video. Um, Got what you wanted. I hope you finally happy. It's too late for you. Been going out of my mind. You don't know how many times that I done prayed for you. I hope you hear me, goddammit, because I got so much shit that I want to say to you. I used to shine, now I'm all in the dark. I remember I used to tell you to follow your heart, but goddammit, look at you now. It's all in your fault. I could you. Maybe it's my fault. I should have paid more attention to what you've been doing. Maybe I should have been more of an influence. I can't believe that you're dead. I, f I read your letter, and all I could do is have mixed feelings about it. But I forever be attached to you. Damn. Part of me feels bad for you. A part of me feel like you weak and I'm mad at you. And I don't mean to be insensitive, but I don't understand how we couldn't prevent this shit. You took the easy way out. God damn it, you did. I mean, look what you did. I'm so fucking upset. How could you be so selfish? Nigga, how could you be so selfish? Now you're gone. You done left me so helpless. I wonder what God thinks. I hope you in God's place behaving yourself. And what the fuck you gotta say for yourself? Look, I really feel lost without you. I hate the fact you think the world is better off without you. And my mind's spinning. This is the line finish. Truth is, I don't care how you feel about my feelings. And I'd be lying to you if I told you if I listen. I know that you can hear me. All I need is like five minutes. I just want to reach inside the casket and pull you out. I'm sorry, this is something that we both couldn't figure out. I wish I could hear you now. Is your soul missing? I wonder if you could do it again. Would you do it different? Tell me what death is like. Was it meant for you, Brody? Did the heavens support it? Are you fucking happy now? Did you get what you wanted? Isn't this what you wanted? I feel the temperature falling and you've been suicidal back then, you were not. Yeah, even back then you was not. We was living on the edge, couldn't stay out the fire. Grandma told us we should take it one day at a time and damn it, look at you now. But it's a new day and if you can't hear me, then it's probably too late. Fuck! Just make sure you tell my family it's okay. I'm sorry, but it's too late. I'm sorry, so much weight you know me. I don't wanna live to see another day. I'm sorry, but I can't stay. I'm sorry, so much weight you know me. I'm not crying. Just make sure you tell my family it's okay. I'm not going okay. to. I'm not doing it. Let's be late. I'm sorry, so much weight you know me. I don't wanna live to see another day. One person commits suicide every 16.2 minutes. Wow. I knew it. I knew it. I knew that video was going to make me cry. Just by the title. I knew it. I did know it. Um, I don't even know like what to say besides for i've had i've gone on a rant before i think it was in my um in my j cole album review video um about anybody that's like feeling down or anything like to be honest if you think about it you are here whoever's life you impacted is impacting somebody else's life who is impacting somebody else's life it's a it's like a chain and it's like through the chain, we all end up impacting somebody through that. So if you weren't here, then you wouldn't have impacted your parents, you know, and you could have probably said something one day that made your parents 
say something to someone else or your friends say something to someone else and that just changed like the trajectory of their life and they ended up going and having some type of contact with someone else and you know the world is how it is and everybody's life is how it is because there's a reason behind it and I know it's hard to make sense of everything but you're here for a purpose you're serving a purpose and even if you don't believe in God or you don't believe in like a higher power or anything, that still doesn't change the fact that the fact that you're here is impacting everyone else in a good way. Like, I really believe that even negative things have positive outcomes because you're supposed to learn from all of those things. You know what I mean? Like, there's a reason for all of that. If one thing negative didn't happen, then that positive that came right after wouldn't have happened. You know what I mean? So it's like everything is connected and the fact that you're here means something. The fact that you made it this far means something. So if there's anybody that's feeling down or anything like that, feeling suicidal, feeling like they're alone, feeling like they don't want to live anymore I don't want you to die I don't want you to die if you ever heard anybody ever tell you that I don't want you to die so and I hope you listen to me and believe me when I tell you that um yeah if anybody feels like they need anybody to talk to all my social media is right down below and it will be on the next screen as well um I already told you guys before, I don't have any problem talking to you guys um, at all. So feel free to hit me up. You can hit me up here in the comments. You can hit me up on my Twitter. You can hit me up on Instagram. All of that. So Snapchat, I'm here. So yeah, thanks guys for watching. Um, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any of my other videos. Um, like I said earlier, this makeup look will be down below in the description as well. And yeah, thanks guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.